Hello guys, welcome, welcome, welcome guys. Welcome back to another video on my channel. I am beyond excited to have you here again. My old subscribers, my new subscribers, and to you who have been watching my videos but is yet to subscribe. Well, I would really wish for you to subscribe. Thank you very much for being here. I really appreciate you guys. I want to say thank you for those of you who have been engaging with me on the previous videos so far. I really appreciate you. Thank you, thank you thank you i know that i've received messages from people that say oh better thank you i've been following your stories i'm like, i'm landing soon and all of that so I, I just want to make a video based on my experience so far on essential apps that can ease the transition for newcomers in this country called canada i've mentioned these apps in other of importance and how they have really been important to me and i hope, hope you find this video useful so the first app i would want to talk about which is really really essential would be transit and navigation apps the essential apps that concern this particular um subject would be google maps if uh, if you've not watched my video about how to navigate um, the transit system here using google maps i will just link it up here you need google maps which is very important there is another one that someone uh, that i discovered recently which is movies app but i don't think i i really understand how that app works but google map does it for me so why not if not the next one would be the transit app for the city that you live in each city have their own transportation app or their own transit app here in edmonton we have our own app the one for calgary is also um different and other cities depending on where you um would be landing in or where you'll be settling in ensure to find out the app for that city you'll be living in and try to download it this comes very very useful there you get to find transportation transportation routes schedules and all of those things that would help you in um transiting or moving from one place to the other another app which i believe that every almost everyone would know about would be the uber app unlike back home um if you just have you just need to have the uber app then you log on create an account and you can book a ride anytime you want but here before you're able to use the uber app you need to link your account to it so just know that when you get here you will need to have an account running first like a bank account running first before you can start using the uber app here for the next category i want to talk about would be weather yeah, in this Canada, <laughs> you need that apple. In fact, I think I should put this, I should have put this before transportation because a <laughs> few days ago, I dressed for the weather because it's been windy so far. Not just the snow, there is no snow, we've not been experiencing snow for about one week now, but it's been really, really windy, like high winds. And um, I, I don't know, my colleague and I, we were just having a conversation so i was telling her how i made sure i brought a jacket like a good jacket with me to help with the wind for that day and the next thing she said was that you and always check in with that app eh? i said lady i have to check this app you have a car you drive your car you just get off your car and psh, walk straight into the office for me i bust so if i don't check this app i am going to be caught unaware and i would suffer for it so as a new immigrant one mistake you would make you know checking the weather app to find out what the weather for that day would be like so weather app is one very important app that you need as a newcomer you need to have it and check it every day like your life depend on it trust me in this canada especially if you live in the peri region like alberta so for the weather app you have um weather network you have accuweather um i also have um it, sometimes you can condition your phone to just send you notification daily of what the weather would be like then the next category i want to talk about would be banking and finance apps you know someone might be wondering like why is she including these among the apps like essential apps that someone needs to have because back home every person has bank a banking app right yeah but the reason why i'm adding the um including this or the reason why i made this category is because of what i've experienced so far yeah you need your banking app you of course once you go open an account they will tell you that download the app there you can do this you can do that because 
banking back home is different from what i have experienced here back home you can just um, transfer money from one bank to the other using bank accounts and all of that here there's an app you use um, there is something that is attached to your bank account interact that is where you get to transfer money and you don't need a person's bank account all you just need is a person's phone number or email address and there you go you use interact to transfer money when i say banking app guys i mean the application or the banking app for you, the bank you open your account with and now the reason another major reason why i would say have this account and be conscious of it is because of um, the likelihood of being defrauded when you regularly go to check that app you it will help you notice when something is wrong with your account here based on my experience i never get notification once i receive any money transferred to my account or whatever it's something i get it in my email and you know it's not every time you get to check your email or you get email notification another thing would be knowing when money has left your account guys recently um my flatmate had an issue she doesn't do like monthly check so she just decided to check like let me go through this account and she discovered that there was um she had cancelled amazon prime subscription but she has been charged for that subscription for the past two months she had to call them and a refund was made then she also discovered that from two years ago was this purchase she made on behalf of her friend on a website a particular website she bought a shoe for her friend she made payment for it but she didn't know that she was still getting deduction on her account from that website from that online store she had to start calling everyone she called the bank and complained about it she called the web the online store for two years guys this money added up to about 600 and something dollars she didn't know because she wasn't getting notification it wasn't just showing in her statement somehow so she just had to start tracing and tracing and so that it was like a hidden um deduction or hidden debit which was really terrible so guys that is one thing i've learned so far to always do for me i do monthly budgeting like after budgeting at the end of every month i go back to do reconciliation or sometimes weekly i go back to do reconciliation and that helps me to know when any um strange money leaves my account trust me there is fraud here in canada then another app that is very important that someone introduced to me i would like to talk about would be flip app what does this app do this app gives you grocery prices from different stores also notifies you when there is a sale notifies you when um there are discounted prices on certain important um household items and all of that it also gives you daily flyers from grocery stores like walmart superstore freshco and all of those many stores that we have here in canada what i do because i do my grocery shopping at the end of every month what i do is i i know the things i want to buy and i go to flip up to see what if there's a discount on some of those things i want to buy also even different prices from those stores that i patronize some things are cheaper in superstore for me than in walmart so i know that i know that i'm going to superstore i know that i would also visit walmart so i just make a list of the things i will buy from superstore i make a list from the things i make a list of the things i'll buy from walmart based on the information i've gotten from this flip app regarding what is cheaper here and what is more expensive here so i would advise every other i will advise every newcomer to look at look into getting this app clip app is very very useful then one other advice i would want to give regarding financial aspects would be know what you are signing and what you're getting into guys i have i don't know how many times I've, I've experienced this like you go to a grocery store like superstore and a salesperson approaches you and says okay and um, there is a master card um blah 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 that you would get you just need to and the thing is that one thing i've noticed is that they never explain it well like i've never gotten any of these 
they never explain it well so there was this store i went to very big store i don't want to mention the name i went to and they, told, they said okay do you want to get this card i knew i know i have it from other stores i said oh yes and then they were asking me some questions like they wanted to just register the card first question i asked the sales lady was okay why are you asking me these many questions because i want to get this card just to be collecting points i know that i have this card this same card from other stores and they never asked me these many questions and she was like okay it's just formality purpose and all of that then once i was through she said um just send this message to this number and then the card will be activated i was so busy that period i never had the time to do it then one day i decided to check my credit score to know how how far i've been able to build my credit score and once i logged into the place where i can check my credit score i saw my credit score it was good then they were showing me other information and i saw that i had had a hard check on my credit score and i have learned even before coming to canada when you do a hard check on your credit it can reduce your um it can affect your credit score i was livid like for something i don't use a card i don't use and i thought it was something as simple as okay you go to buy something you just tap and you collect points from the purchases you've made so why did they have to do a hard check on my credit and why wasn't i told that a hard check will be carried out on my credit um credit score so i really learned something from that guys you just need to look into everything that you are being sold like they are telling you get this mastercard do this do that you can buy and later you pay your credit card from for a grocery store guys look into it in depth don't just buy it hook like a line and sinker because most times from my experience they don't give like a clear explanation you just sell the market you're interested you fall into it you buy it and before you know you just notice that you've gotten yourself hooked into something that you wouldn't have wanted ordinarily one next thing i would want to talk about one other essential thing would be getting get yourself connected to social media blogs for your city like you know back home in nigeria we have insta blog ninja we have the naikeji blog <laughs> most of these are gossip blogs and some other blogs that are good where you get to learn um about what is happening maybe something happened this happened i also have been able to connect myself to um social media blogs of that nature here in edmonton another thing i want to talk about this is it depends on the city you're landing and how it applies there and that would be um app for checking your healthcare records like recently i was able to secure a family doctor and i was had i had to go do um a blood work some lab tests and once that was done i wanted to get the report to see what um, came out of the lab test i did my flatmate was telling me that they don't hand it over now i have to download an app register on that app register my healthcare um, details on records on that app and then i get to see whatever blood work or whatever thing i need to do like i said it depends on how it applies in your city in the city you'll be living in or the province you'll be settling in so just ensure to check out that information other apps that you might want to consider would be food delivery apps i don't do food delivery maybe just uber eats which is attached to my uber app but it's something that you might want to consider having i know they have um skip the dishes and one other one that exists here but i don't use them so these are apps that you would want to consider thank you so very much guys for staying to the end of this video i hope you're able to learn one or two things from it if you're looking at arriving soon you can just maybe bookmark this video to ensure that you don't miss out on any information just take things down watching videos relating to stuff like this also helped me when i was preparing to come to canada thank you very much guys please do not forget to like share and the most important one subscribe to my channel thank you until the next time bye bye